Good morning everyone. You are joining me on this Tuesday morning. It's really wet, dull, dreary morning. It's been kind of raining on and off all morning. Uh, it's just intensified a little bit over the last few minutes. Uh, and uh, the job I have to do this morning, this rain isn't really, it's, the weather's not really fitting the job I've got to do. Uh, I've got to strip this bad boy. So, yeah, stripping the side of spitting the rain, you can see there is about there's four rows of uh, lorry tires at the front and I'm going to have to pop all those off before lifting the bags off right around the front of it. So, uh, yeah, a little bit, of, little bit of work to be done now this morning with that. Uh, I'm going to use the, the Fox to lift off the lorry tires. Uh, should be able to stack them with the, with the Fox, put them in, in a few piles and uh, it'll allow us to to maybe move them around then at a later date whenever we need to. So that's that's what we've got to do this morning. Uh, anyone who was watching the live stream last night, uh, was messing around trying out the live stream, I haven't really used that much. I might have used it once before last year at one point. So uh, yeah, just tried the live stream on my phone to see how it worked out. So you might have seen me emptying out the last of the second cut pit. Um, yeah, it wasn't the easiest or steadiest uh, filming. Uh, because I was trying to drive the teleporter with with, uh, with one hand and the other hand was holding the phone obviously so uh, it was a little shaky and bumpy but it was just something a little bit different to try out and then I ended up deleting it last night by <laughs> I was trying to uh, just edit the, some of the titles in it and I ended up deleting it, it's gone now off YouTube so anyone who's seen it last night fared well and good anyone who didn't, well it's gone now, you can't really see it So, uh, but I'm going to try and do a few more live streams maybe of feeding and stuff like that if I can uh, yeah, so we'll get cracking at this and uh, try and get some of these tyres lifted off.
Now, so we've got the, the tires all lifted off, all the lorry tires. As you can see, the rain hasn't really stopped yet, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, all the lorry tires now are all here, stacked. Stacked nice and neatly there along the, the wall. So next up now, we're going to take the bags off right up along the, the sides. Uh, just the sides up to the, where the, the car tires start. And then we'll take them all off along the front end, obviously, as well. Uh, bags then will go up just to the left hand side of the, the silage fork up there. And uh, yeah, we'll just tidy up then the tires in the front and then we'll we'll open the pit and see what it see what it's like. See what side it, kind of condition it's in. So I'll get cracking at that. Now, so that's all the bags and tires in order. So now for the grand reveal, see how the silage is like. Uh, if you remember, the silage was made back in that really dry weather. So I'm expecting that it will be fairly dry. Oh, it's a nice color anyway. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous smell of it. So there is. Yeah, so I'll pull the cover back up, throw a couple of tires on it, and we'll have a better look at it then. Now, I'm just kind of standing in there while I was getting the, the camera set up. Uh, it's raining still very heavy. I'm getting wetter here by the moment, but uh, I'll finish off this video now anyway. Um, yeah, front is now exposed, as you can see. Um, overall, very happy with how it has fermented the silage. There's a really, really nice sweet smell of it, as I said a moment ago. Um, yeah, and it's it's a nice colour. Uh, chop is fairly good on it as well. Um, we were gonna say, we will send this away to see how it tests, and that will happen in the next week or so. So when I get the analysis back, we'll have a wee look at it and just see how it does. But I imagine it should be should be fairly good uh, DMD to it. Uh, but we'll just have to see. Um, yeah, overall, as I say, fermented fairly well. There's a little bit here on the left-hand side uh, along the wall that always is susceptible to uh, just not fermenting the best. It always, there's a little bit of bad here every year. Uh, mostly due to the fact that there is uh, an effluent, a pipe here that runs right along for effluent uh, to take it into the tank. And uh, that runs right to the back wall. So you always get a little bit of air that gets in there uh, and, and does a little bit of harm. Uh, that coupled with the fact that we don't get, we don't get in tight for uh, to roll the roll the pit along here, 
uh, for fear that the teleporter might slide in or touch the wall or touch the shed so kind of have to keep back out a couple of feet and that also leads to uh, fer fermentation problems so um but yeah overall it's not going to be much to, to worry about once you usually get back up a little bit it's not as bad um but yeah overall as i say very happy with how how it has fermented uh, this side here has fermented fairly well he had a very very little bad up along there a couple of little few little white spore, spores just in there you can see them uh, and a couple along there but overall very very well very well uh, made um but yeah that's it uh, i'm gonna head off then and uh, get changed out of these clothes uh, before i do some feeding so uh i'll probably do this as a standalone video and i might make another video then uh, cutting out some blocks next after in the afternoon so uh, as always thanks for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and uh, hit the like button as well because it it helps as i say with with uh, pushing on the videos on youtube um so yeah that's really it thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one